all of our B'nai Mitzvah, uh, study their portion uh, that they read, uh, study something about the day, for example, about Pesach, or something uh, other relevant idea about Judaism, and they compose their own Dvar Torah, which Noah has done uh, already, and we would like Noah to share with us his words of Torah as the great Torah. Just being there was very good for the morale of the people living in 
much drink. Rabbi Steger and many of our colleagues participate in a walk for the hostages every Saturday. That is a great example of caring and sacrifice. We should remember that there are Jews who have made great sacrifices for America as well. One of the most famous Jews we did is Heim Solomon. Heim Solomon was a very successful American businessman in the American colonies. He was very patriotic and donated a lot of money to help the American Revolution. In August 1781, George Washington and the main army encountered Rochambeau with his French army, decided to march from the Hudson Islands to Yorktown to deliver the final blow to the British. But Washington's fortune was empty. As was that of Congress, without food, without food, uniforms, and supplies, <coughs> Washington's troops were close to mutiny. Washington determined that he needed at least twenty thousand dollars to finance the campaign. When he was told that there were no funds or credit available, Washington said, "Send for Iron Solomon." Solomon raised the twenty thousand dollars. Washington conducted the New York Times. And that was the final battle of the Revolutionary War. <coughs> Giving all this money was a tremendous sacrifice, but it was that sacrifice that enabled the Americans to win the Revolutionary War. We make sacrifices for each other because we care about each other. Time Solomon cared about American freedom. The people who traveled to Israel to help cared about Israel. This is our source of strength. Be willing to make sacrifices because we care. Following Jewish law involves making sacrifices. We can't always do what we want to do. But on the other hand, it's wonderful to be part of the Jewish community. It is inspiring to be part of a community that has made so many contributions and sacrifices to the world and each other. Thanks to my mother and father for all of their support. And thanks to my grandma, Uncle David, Uncle Jimmy, and for everything. Thank you, Zoe, for being there when I need it. Thank you, Kathy Postman, for all the time you spent teaching me. And thank you, Rabbi Secret, for all your help as well. Thank you all for coming to my bar as well.
take on responsibility for all of us. There's another thing that I find embedded in your choice to celebrate today on Pesach. What it meant, and the reason why we're here today on a Sunday, the day when we read Torah on a Sunday morning, is because of your concern and your commitment to family. You knew that in celebrating the Bar Mitzvah, as we, are, as, as we might have done on a Shabbat, not all of your family would be able to be here. And they wouldn't be able to be here and celebrate with you. So you made the choice to celebrate today, with, together with your family. And that is really beautiful. That means you have shown commitment to Torah, to the Jewish people, by becoming part of the spot, by reading Torah, by, chant, by learning uh, words and sharing your words of Torah with us. But you also put your family first. And you want to include them as well. So you're committed to the Jewish people, and to your family, uh, and now taking responsibility for yourself. So all three levels here. Um, you're growing up and you're becoming a uh, a wonderful young man, um, and uh, setting off on your own. And that's what we did on Pesach. Pesach was the beginning of our people, uh, really. It was the beginning of our time together as, as, as a community, as a people. It marked the beginning of time for us. Um, we recite that right before, right before Pesach. We say, HaKadosh Hatzai that this month, the month of Pisa, when we celebrate Pesach, the first Pesach is going to be the beginning of time for the Jewish people. And it marks the beginning of time for you now as an adult and a community. One other thing I'd like to say. Your name, Noah. What did Noah do? He built an ark, right? And he saved humanity and all of, all of the world and set off into the future. And that began time again for Noah and for the world. So today, you're beginning time for yourself, for your people, for your family, um, and we hope actually that you will begin a new beginning for our world, that you will take your idealism, your love of history, learning from the past, you will take it with you into your future and help us to understand better how we should be in our world and how we can make this world a better place. You have started us on that journey and you are going to lead us into the future, I believe, with strength, with vision, with great courage. And we are all very, very proud and very happy to be here today with you, Noah, to wish you this honor as you become a as you become a responsible um, adult our member of our community. It's all. And I have some questions.